Hey everybody, I've got a couple questions to attend to that have been left on my recent videos. And the first one I'm going to tackle came from ZZZ Giant Awake, uh, aka Josh from The Breakfast Club, aka the guy that Kazoom stopped for on his cross country trip after snubbing me for the second time. Anyways, uh, Josh writes <clears throat> Since you're looking for things to talk about, you should talk about the importance slash unimportance of sex and sex frequency in a relationship. Also, healthy expectations. Despite the joke to start it off, I'm actually interested in hearing a professional talk about that, as I don't think I've ever had a conversation with someone about that. It's awkward to talk about with a person that you're in a relationship with, or with your friends who are in a relationship, or your parents, etc. Sorry, the camera got in the way. Um, <clears throat> number one, I'm not looking for something to talk about. Absent of you guys asking me questions, I would still have shit to say, right? I would still be making videos. I just prioritize you guys, and I, I, I prefer speaking to people and making videos back and forth and uh, responding to comments. But uh, I'm not actively searching for things to make videos about. Um, I've got some projects that I'm going to be working on pretty soon. And uh, everything else, you know, I, I could fill my time responding to you guys, or I could just spout off at the mouth. And I'm probably going to do both. Um, <clears throat> so you want me to talk about the importance slash unimportance of sex and sex frequency in a relationship. I, I think the, the most important thing that I want to respond to in that paragraph is uh, you wanted to hear from a professional. And professionally speaking... I would have to say that that is outside the scope of my practice. Now, um, yeah, I'm a registered psychotherapist, but that's that's you know, that's not th the whole of it. I am a certified addiction counselor, and I don't have a background in, uh, say, marriage and family therapy. I don't have a background in uh, counseling couples. You know, on this, I I from my perspective. Um, as far as sex and sex frequency, um, I could I could look at it as an addiction and say, well, is it getting in the way of your life? You know, is the lack of it hurting your life? You know, um, <clears throat> do you miss social events because you have been, you know, staying at home wanking, and you're like, holy shit, I've only got fifteen minutes to get to work, but I really feel like cranking one out. And so I'm going to do that and then risk being late for work. That would be a sign that maybe you've got a problem with frequency that I would address, you know, in in my line of work uh, with the addiction aspect of it. But um, as far as the importance in a relationship, I would say not being a professional that deals with that sort of thing, I would say that communication is very important. And and if you're awkward about talking with your partner, that is a sign that something is wrong with your ability to communicate with them, right? Your, your relationship isn't built on a foundation where you can communicate with them about these things. Um, you should come up with a healthy... Uh, frequency of sex to have with your partner with them in the conversation you know and you put out your expectations and your desires and they put out theirs and then you you know you hash it out um, yeah talking about that with your parents would be kind of awkward like hey dad um, I don't know if I'm having enough sex with my girlfriend how much sex did you have with your girlfriends back in the day yeah, that would be awkward and irrelevant because your parents aren't part of your relationship. Hopefully, you know, I understand that incest is best kept in the family, but just keep the conversation between the people who are involved, you know. And if you're not getting enough of it, let them know. Hey, say, hey, I've been feeling a little unloved lately, you know. Could we spice things up a bit? Uh, that's the best advice I can give you on that. Um, as far as um, 
being wanting to hear from a professional on this, there are other YouTubers uh, around that either they are licensed marriage and family therapists or they've worked in the field. Uh, Laura Lila is one of them. You can ask her. That's that's my, my referral to you here on the internet. Um, but there are others as well. You just Google it. Okay, that was awkward. Just just like talking about it as as an aside. Where did you come up with with me being uh, somebody you would you would want to hear about these healthy expectations from? I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs>